Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Maria from Under the Night Moon, and I'm so excited to finally show you these two gorgeous little books I made. Oh my gosh, I love these books so, so much. Um, this is the only other um, collection I have from my Etsy shop since I was very busy making um, the 10 Mary journals that are in the video before this one. Um, but these are just so super cute and I'm really just loving the um, IOD frame mold that I used here on the cover. It's um, done with paper clay and I just added a little tiny bit of gold to it and added a sealer. Um, I added a gorgeous image on the inside. I also sealed that and then just did a little bit of gold. And um, it just makes the most beautiful focal point um, you could ever ask for. <laughs> so these are little bird themed books. I have two. I'm going to flip through both of them in this video um, to show you. They measure just about, well, seven inches if you go down to the bottom of the fringe here. Uh, but the actual book is just under six inches. And one signature, they're pretty fat, but you know me, I've got a lot of um, chunky laces and things um, added to them. So they uh, uh, both are tied with this gorgeous aqua chiffon. Um, but let me just show you, I'm going to do this one first, and then I will show you this one next. They're both more or less the same, but there are a few differences, so I like to just make sure you can see. Um, I have a reference here in the video. Um, they both have this gorgeous vintage chandelier um, glass crystal here. They all have a little ribbon rose, seam binding, this gorgeous antique gold tassel, um, sequin trim, beautiful printed papers, embossed cardstock. They're stitched, and then the signature or the spine has the Tim Holtz. Um, very sturdy linen tape. Um, they're signed right here by me and you can see the stitching. All right, so let's flip through. Very durable. I love this wide ribbon because even though this is very light, it's very durable. Um, and then just right off the bat, look how cute that little cutie is in the pocket. That's why I love making these books so much. They just make me so, so happy. Little things like that. Um, so let's see, inside the pocket, well, this is um, a vintage linen, and I just stitched it on there, added this sweet little bow. There's my embroidery, which I haven't had any time really to practice, but I'm going to tell you I'm not a very good embroiderer. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's okay not to be perfect right away, right? It's good to just practice makes perfect. <laughs> Um, beautiful digitals here, my little antique tape. This is a really beautiful calling card and I just made it larger and I thought it made such a beautiful um, first page. Sweet little um, mama bird and her babies. Um, I did use my little polka dot stamp and then just lots of little things like this um, to make up this book. Lots of stationery, printed papers. This is a sweet little envelope. Inside the envelope is this beautiful little card. This is the chapter one papers. Not sure if you can see the gold sparkle on there. Absolutely love chapter one papers right now. And pixie dust files, oh my gosh. I have so many new digitals to work with coming up. Uh, the pixie dust files sent me this gorgeous dragonfly collection that if I, I just, I haven't even had time to look at it except for just the quick, um, um, uh, I don't know what it's called, like the quick preview of it, but oh my gosh, the colors are so dreamy. I just can't wait. <laughs> um, lots of seam binding, little lace here. Look at this little cutie inside this glassine bag. So sweet, so cute. Um, I did make little rust paper clips here. So um, 
when you go to take them off, see the antique photo cover there. Beautiful page though for you, ready to write on, of course, um, add a picture. And then I just like to add these little things to the side. You can move them around however you want, but the little rust ones, just be careful putting them on and off. Um, gorgeous. Um, this is actually linen paper here. And then it's stamped. I made a little charm right here. Some stamping. Beautiful seam binding. This is one of my favorite little tags for this book. So delicate. So pretty. Little piece of antique lace. I have a ton of antique lace from my mom's studio. So I'm really enjoying, um, you know, just using up some of her things. This is a little French knob. It didn't come out so well, but you know, it just reminds me of the mama bird's nest where um, it's not always perfect, but it's definitely made with love. Hand stamp, little crown, little um, tuck spot here. Um, I had fun a few weeks ago making a bunch of papers. So that's um, different inks and sprays and gold. Um, this is just a nice little um, stationary stop place for you to jot down some notes. Gorgeous, gorgeous paper. Little snippets of just stuff I have in my studio, like this gorgeous um, linen little ruffle here. And then this is embossed with gold embossing powder. Let me see if the camera, okay, there we go. You can kind of see. I just love adding interest like this to the pages. So pretty. Just a little unexpected gold flourish. <laughs> um, you can really see um, the ink on some of these papers here too. Little teacups, some washi. This is vintage French book pages. Gorgeous printables and lace and all kinds of just little um, details, right? I love the details. Um, this is a little tuck spot here, but obviously a nice place for you to write. It says beautiful story down here. And then it has oops, um, this beautiful, um, I think this is printed paper and I made it into a little tag. You can see the French up there. And then inside a little um, envelope here. Printed double-sided, so pretty. Oops, and a little tag. I love the flowers with the green. I just think that looks so pretty. Gorgeous bird on some ledger. Little calling card tag there. Um, and then some more embroidery here. Just some beautiful blue um, thread. Gorgeous printables, that's from Ruby and Pearl, I think. Here, um, So what I do, I don't have fingernails, but I lift this up instead of sliding it. Sweet little bird, and that just works better. This is um, some of Amity Bloom's new paper, so pretty. And then I tea dyed it just to kind of tone it down a little bit. Um, but I just love, love, love these colors. This is one of my favorite pages here. So yeah. Little tabs. Um, oh, okay, so um, you guys know I love Debrina's little dresses over there at the Pixie Dust Files. So here's a little one of her dresses that I um, printed, and then I just added some cheesecloth, this little daisy embroidery here, a little piece of embroidered lace, little tiny sari silk bow. And then on the bottom, I just put a little pearl on a, a little safety pen. And then, um, of course, I had to add a little cutie. <laughs> and it says, beauty is everywhere. Um, the dress is attached to the paper clip, so you can um, put, put this dress wherever you like. This is just where it ended up. So this book has this paper. The other book has something different. That's why I'm doing a flip through of both. Um, beautiful lace pocket here with a little blossom. There's some rhinestones behind there and gorgeous wedding lace. And then in this pocket, there is some more chapter one papers. Just beautiful. Gorgeous little bird tag. 
And then I did add a little piece of wallpaper for you. And then Debrina also has these really sweet little sayings. This one says, all your dreams can come true if you have courage to pursue them. And that is true. <laughs> so I put that in there. Moving right along. Just beautiful pages for you to write. Some more... Um, um, this is the center signature here, which is really pretty, so I'll show you. Um, just some stationary things. And of course, these can be moved around wherever you like. Little seed packets. Chapter One Papers has a lot of little seed pockets. I love them. They're so sweet. I'm going to clip that later for time purposes. Um, this is the center signature. I'm just going to take everything out so you can see how pretty the paper is. They both have a blue center. Oh, I'm in frame, yeah. And then the little, tr this is a little, um, slide. It's attached to this piece of embroidered, um, uh, a little embroidered flower. Of course, you can um, cut this and put it wherever you like. You don't have to keep it here at all, and you won't ruin anything um, at all. In fact, oops, you'll be able to see here. Um, I sort of like to keep it just tucked in there for fun. <laughs> um, yeah, so obviously it's a pocket. Inside the pocket are these sweet little tags, and then I just added some vintage velvet and some embroidery up there. Um, and then the front is a little pocket as well. And I put this sweet little bird in there. Lots of laces, ruffles, vintage grow grain here, some pearl trim. And um, that's that side. And then this side has um, my favorite bird image of all time. It's just so pretty, Mama and her little birds. And then just beautiful rose. It says dream bigger here, more of that pretty lace. And then um, just the speckled eggs. I just love, and you can see my speckling here. Just love. And then a gorgeous tag made from some of the papers from uh, chapter one. So pretty. And then on this side, on the other side of the paper clip there, is one and this is more of the pixie dust vials um look at these florals oh my gosh this is in her shop i'll leave a link down below um i just couldn't believe how beautiful these were when they printed out they're just so vibrant and rich with the imagery in the back this is just what i love about her digitals um they're just so vibrant and beautiful and um of course i had to add one of those the gorgeous little cuties. I just love these images. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. <laughs> and then a pretty little rose card with the speckling and a sweet little embroidered flower. Um, I think like a little pet would be so cute on the back of here or whatever, you know, you could write something on there too. Um, I stamped on here, all things grow with love. Sweet little that. Um... This is just a little doily folded in half with some fun trims. This is, um, okay, I'm gonna take this apart. And um, like I said, you just lift up the bottom is the best way. Um, so they all have a quote. This one, or there's only two, but. Um, Here's how the birds on every bloom and spray with joyous music wake the dawning day. I just thought that was really pretty. I added some fun sari. Um, just reminds me of something the mama bird would collect for her nest. And then I gave you a gorgeous piece of wallpaper. You can see the vintage on the back and you can feel it's dreamy. And to write on here would be so nice with a felt tip pen. And then I just clipped a little piece of sari on the bottom. The silk is so pretty. And then just the sweet little um, oops, butterfly tag. Yeah, and that just goes on like there, but you have, oops, all this place to write. So even though there's a lot of stuff in these little books, there's plenty of space to write, which is what I like. And, um, yeah, 
I just want to make sure that you can write in these. And then on the other side, just a beautiful floral tag, some more beautiful paper, and then this little cutie here. And I just added some more antique trim. This is antique silk ribbon. I don't have very much of it, but I thought it just looked so pretty with this little baby girl. And that's um, a pretty good size um, place for you to write a good story or add a picture of a, maybe a loved one that you have, right? Um, just having fun with the tags here. Kind of decorated this one a little bit. This is from Amity Bloom's new collection. So pretty. And then um, you can see little pom-pom uh, paper clip. And then on the other side of this beautiful rose is this gorgeous image here. You can see I'm hand stamping there in like the beautiful blue color. This little cutie, another piece of antique paper here. Lots of pieces of um, antique book pages stamping. Here's the other side of that gorgeous paper. A little bird tuck spot there. More colorful papers here. Um, this is a tag with um, this gorgeous sari silk on there, little bird image, and just some extra papers, a fun little writing spot. That would be a good place to put um, something of a memory. And then a little charm of this speckled bead. I think it's like a stone. I just thought that was good for the birds. A little piece of ruched lace. This has crown stamping on this paper here, just for some interest. And then on the other side, a piece of the uh, wallpaper here. So pretty, I love this one. You can see the crown's good there. It's just fun. Uh, linen paper here, and here's the other side of that. And then here's the end. Um, I made, this is another um, new wallpaper of mine, um, and I tucked the end on the paper clip, but you don't have to keep it there. Um, here is that calling card that I enlarged. You can see it much better here. And then this gorgeous paper here. But I made this little envelope. I just thought it was a fun place, so it wraps around. I just thought it was a fun little, um, well, let me just show you actually i love the paper i just think it's so pretty i think it matches these books so well you can feel the um you know it's got that vintage wallpaper goodness and then i just stitched it into this little envelope with this little bucket uh button added a seam binding um, but i just thought you know i always like to add little envelopes so that you have um you know, a place to tuck extra pictures. If I'm ever doing like a photo album, I always have extra pictures that didn't make it in the book. So um, I added these two um, just for something for you, but um, it's just like extra storage. And then this just wraps around like that. Obviously you can put this anywhere you like in the book. I have it here in the back just cause it's easy to get to. And then I added these little cuties <laughs> as like the finale. But um, here's the last page here. Just a gorgeous, I think this is the old image, um, reprinted, beautiful rose paper. And that is the finale, the, 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 um, the last page. And then there's the back. So that's the first one. That is this one here. Uh, these will both be listed in my Etsy shop too. I have all the pictures done. You know, I like to just make sure the videos are finished before I put the pictures up. That way you can kind of see um, the books up close so that you know um, which one is which and how they look. I always direct people to my YouTube channel just so they can see um, the details up close because, you know, the Etsy pictures... Um, I think they're okay for this book, but it's always better to come back and see the videos. Um, so you can see the sequin trims on the cover, this gorgeous crochet. Um, it was actually a dress that um, is handmade, I think. I don't know. That one I kind of didn't want to chop up, but it's just so pretty. 
Um, yeah, so inside on the cover, you have this little cutie here and a little tassel. So there's some little things that are different. Some things are the same, like this tag, but this is different. So that's why I'm doing a flip through. Um, but if I see something that's the same, like here, that you've already seen, I'm just going to keep going. All this you've already seen. However, this one has love stamped in it on the cover. Because this one um, is going this way, there wasn't really a space, so I put beauty on this one and attached it there. So it's really love and beauty, but um, yeah, that's how that happened. So this is all the same. This is all the same. Gorgeous little emboss there. Beautiful papers. Yeah, so it's fun to... Um, show you guys these on here just because um well let's see does these little videos now i don't really use the little videos though because i'm here so for me it's just um you know it just goes quicker to do a video here and also i could never get the whole book um let me just pull this guy out so you can see that's your little cutie for this book. But it's just the sweetest thing ever. And then I got to show you one of Look at her. Di look at. So this is what makes her digital so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. These printed so beautiful. I just loved the purples. So beautiful. And I tea dyed them just to have them match this book. But they also print nice and bright if I were doing you know, a, a, a white book or one that had more brighter colors. So beautiful and they look gorgeous either way. So pretty. There's your writing paper, there's your little bird. This quote is different. This one says, be like the bird who passing in her flight, a while on bows too slight, feel them give way beneath her and yet sings knowing she has wings. <laughs> Yeah, those are from the graphics fairy. Sweet little baby girl there. This tag is different, um, but you can see the same little crochet, little cuties, vintage papers. This little lady is different. Yeah, little ruched um, lace. This charm is a little bit different too. So yeah, there's your wallpaper. There's this is the same that has the same rows and uh, wallpaper on the inside. And then these two are different back here. So that's the flip through for these two. Um, these will be listed in my Etsy shop actually. If you're watching this video, they'll already be up because usually I'll put the video or um, I'll post the pictures while the videos are uploading since they take forever. Um, but that is the flip through of these two gorgeous little books and I'll show you how easy it is. I just kind of rest my hand here when I'm tying and because this ribbon is so wide it's just super easy to tie and I love this stitching here to keep it together. So that is the flip through everyone. Thank you so, so much. Of course, to all my new subscribers as well. Hello, and thank you so much for um, subscribing. I'm so grateful. Um, follow me on Instagram at under the night moon for little sneak peeks and whatnot. Um, I love Instagram. It's so much fun. And um, yeah, just other than that, just thank you so, so very much um, for watching and hanging out with me. And um yeah, just have a really wonderful rest of your um, Saturday. Thank you so, so much. Okay, bye-bye.